Great topic is uh, AC machines are uh, introduction. So AC machine introduction means that this is for the uh, uh, three phase uh, induction motor. Three phase induction motor called as uh, stator winding. So there are three stator winding and this is rotor winding. So stator winding, the magnetic force in the stator winding are the FA, FB and the FC. FA, FB and FC. So the, the force can be calculated. The current is flowing through the stator winding. So that this current is as a IM. And straight out when you call the number of times, number of times is a N divided by 2 e power j omega d plus e power minus j omega d. This means that the beta. J omega d is a represented beta and e power j 0. So this is the e power j omega d. Is a, this is the current, uh, current called the frequency, radium frequency. So they are currents are oscillating current. So radium frequency, the beta, and the e power j 0 means that it's reference beta. Reference beta. And similarly, the FB will be calculated. So for this reason, that all the subvectors are different, that are 120 degrees. So that this is a divided by e power minus j omega d minus a 4 pi by 3. Similarly, e power plus j omega d plus 4 pi by 3. So this is for FB, FB, and SC. So the force in this are FB, FB, SC, they produce by the current and the number of times can be calculated by this way. And therefore, the general is that we can write down the equation for the magnetic force produced by the current flowing into the state of winding is 3 into I m by n by 2 e power j omega t. So I n is a magnetic current, n is a number of times. So therefore, the, when the magnetic flux are passing through, we have to follow the framing of the hand rule. So this one is a first fingers that represent the current, middle fingers that represent the flux and the Time represents the force. So this is the current flux and the force. So that the magnetic field passing through this uh, this is a rotor winding. So currents are flowing in this direction. So the force is at this arrow direction. So this is magnetic field direction, current direction, and the force direction. So this force are rotating the rotor. So that the rotor is rotating. So rotors are speed can be calculated. And that's equal to 1 by the divided by C. F is a frequency, V is a number of force. So this is for the waveform, three phase waveform. Three wave waveforms are produced in this uh, rotor the flux. So the N is a synchronous speed, and N is equal to 1 really F by P. F is a frequency, and the P is a number of force. So by this way, that we can calculate the rotor magnetic flux. So that the revolving field created by the stator the revolving field created by the stator cuts across the rotor bars and it induces a body in all of them. So the revolving field passes through the speed of winding, so they are cutting the rotor bar and the current is induced. Because the rotor bars are short circuited by the rings, the body causes less current to flow. So this body creates a high current flowing. The current carrying conductors in the part of the flux created by the stator, they all experience a strong mechanical force. So there will be a cross room that's are in the hand rule. The flux and the current can flow with the force. So this is the basic operation principle of the AC machine. Okay, so see that this program, the sign is 3 phase 4 poles are 36 long, 50 hertz winding. So that when we are winding the winding, this is all the one winding. So how many slots will we take in? This is this one. That will be the span. So why span have to calculate that? Number of slots by number of poles. So the hint here is a slot is a that is slot four is a four more winding so that is by four so this is a nine so the slot four is a quite one we have to put into the slot one and the end at the slot ten so this is for the one to ten so this is fast four after the eleven plus nine so twenty after the twenty one plus nine thirty after the thirty one plus nine forty but we only call the thirty six slot so we separate the minus thirty six so the one to this is the four so the for the disk Y, we start from the slot 1 to 10, so this is the DD Y construction, 1 to 10, 4 1, 11 to 20, 4 2, 21 to 30, 4 3, and 31 to 4, 4 4. So this is for the A phase. After that, all the three phase four windings are quite are the 120 degrees different. Therefore, the every 180 degree is a quite a bad nice law. So the 120, how many slot? So the 9 multiplied by 120 by 180 is what we call a 6. So then, this is slot stuff 
from the sum of 1. 1 plus 6 so this is 7. And 7 plus 6 so this is 13. After that, you add this and quite a bit. So quite a bit that 7 plus 9 16, 17 plus 9 26, 27 plus 9 36, and 1 plus 9 10. And see, this is for the other phase B. And then the 13 plus 9 is 22, 23 plus 9 is 32, 33 plus 9 is 42, 42 minus 36 is and the 7 plus 9 is a, this is for the 16. So this is for the A phase winding, B phase winding, C phase winding, and we connect. So the, this is the A1, B1, C1. So the A1, B1, C1 is get the supply. A2, B2, C2 need to be connected to the star. So that, but one phase has to be reversed. So the 1, so 1 to 4, this is the Y1. And 7 to 10, but the final Y, Y name, you will reverse. So that we get a supply at the 16, and the 13 is the connected to the star 1. So this is for the 3 phase of 4, 4, 36 law, 50 past winding construction.